Folks, welcome back to XGWL. Hector Diaz here, and let's go to our next match. And we're gonna have here the XGWL Tag Team Champions Tracy and Apollo. Gonna be taking on Team Deutschland in a non-title match. I mean, these two have been on a roll. They've been a very strong tag team here. The the technical ability. I mean, both these guys have technical ability. What sets them apart is that Tracy with his power, and then Apollo. The expert submission artist, and no one can have the technical and submission knowledge that Apollo has, and Trey Steele with that the power he possesses makes it to a very good tag team. And now here comes Team Deutschland, the big man, the enforcer, Paul Berlin, and then there's Richie Stein. And even though the fans hate them, I mean, there are people that like their theme song for some reason. <laughs> and, I mean, you can tell me this, they're very catchy too, I, I'm going to give them credit for that, at least. I mean, the power of Paul Berlin, 6'11", 300 pounds. And then Richie Stein there, 6'2", 240. And He's the dirtiest player in NXUWL is Richie Stein. This guy will cheat like there's no tomorrow. And and he's okay with that. <laughs> I don't know how we can be okay with with being so much so many times with a dirty tactic. How about he fight fair for a chance? For a change rather. <laughs> As we get this match started, give give a shout to the couple for the CEW links out there and here we go, this match started. If you're new to the XGWL, thank you for checking us out and hopefully you are enjoying a great CW League out here. I know there's a lot of great CW Leagues out there, but thank you for checking us out. Anyways, as we get this match started, Apollo with the early advantage and, and this is what you get to see from Apollo. So great technical ability with the neck breaker now followed by the submission hold. Good smart strategy targeting the head. One thing about Apollo is an expert at is targeting the body part and just going and just targeting it till, till he gets that weakness and then putting a strong submission hold in. And the tag in the Trey Steele, the power of, of this tag team. Counter by by Richie Stein with a headlock takeover. One thing about Richie Stein, he's a bit unpredictable. He'll be very dirty at times and He'll throw a couple punches here and there. And out. The power of Trace Steele with that back suplex. Sending him to the ropes and out. Good big back back body drop. And now. Irish whip. Smart tag team strategy. To the constant tags. The one of the building blocks for a solid tag team. And now, Richie Stein gets the tag into big Paul Berlin. I mean, look at the size difference between these guys. With the technical ability that Apollo has does make up for that lack of, of size. I mean, Apollo 6'4", 236. Trey Steele 6'3", 270 pounds. And now, oh, backbreaker, nicely done. Now Irish hook to the corner. And reverse there by Apollo. And look at this. What an impressive submission hole. Of course, that is an illegal submission hole. He had to break that count. I get another reversal there by Apollo. And once again going for the submission hole. And that looks painful. And now, Apollo sending Paul Berlin to, to his team's corner gets the tag into Trey Steele. Um, that's good tag team 101. And now, he's using a double team maneuver as we get the tag in. And now, what is STO takedown? And now, 
Paul Valenz sending Trey Seal to his team's corner. And now the tag into Richie Stein. And look at this. Impressive. And now Richie Stein with the advantage and out. Inverted atomic drop. I know other people will call it a Manhattan drop. But regardless of what the movies call it is um, an effective one. And now the tag. It does not get any better than that as far as tag team goes. Kick to the midsection. And what a punch there by Trey Steele. Oh, what an uppercut. And wow, I'm impressed by that move. Someone of the size of Trey Steele they able to pull off a move is very impressive. And now Paul Bullen has Trey Steele on his shoulders. And into a flapjack. And now up on his shoulders again. And now this time going for the torture wrecking. Trey Steele doesn't get out of it quickly and counters into a DDT. Kick there by Paul Berlin. And look at this. The power. And to what a spin out power bomb. And countered by Trey Steele. Oh, what a spear there by the big man. Look at this. And the fans not liking that one one bit. And now, power strip to the corner. And now the tag to Apollo. And look at this, like flying crossbody there. And now, Apollo with that Cobra clutch into a side Russian leg sweep. Oh, slamming his arm into the canvas. And now, raking the eyes there by by Paul Berlin. What a scoop slam. And now I guess the tag into Richie Stein. The I call him the dirtiest player next to GW and what a Japanese arm drag. All because he cheats like there's no tomorrow. And Team Deutschland has held the XGWL tag team titles three times and now. Going up to the second rope and what an elbow drop. No frills about that move. And Richie sounds pretty serious. I mean, he'll, he'll, he'll get he's good with the fisticuffs. But I'm not too sure about his technical ability. I know someone who's very technically savvy is that man right there. Nicely done with the, with the triple threat of German suplexes. Three of them in a row. And now... He's signaling for the Apollo Slam. And now, turns him around and... There it is! And, and he's got to go for the cover. Pulling him away from the ropes. And now the cover. One! Two! Only a two count. As, as Richie Stein was able to kick out. And now, impressive belly-to-belly -belly suplex. And now going to the top rope. Oh, nicely done. Connects with the elbow. Off the top rope. And now the cover again. One. And Paul Berlin with the save. Got up. Oh, nice, nice amateur wrestling style move that was. And Paul Berlin just holding a ball in place. And now with an atomic drop. Warm shot to the back and an elbow and a knee to the back now. These are a couple things that Richie Stein needs to do and gets the tag dead to, to the enforcer of Team Deutschland, Paul Berlin, the 300 pounder. Kick there to the midsection. And now Apollo sending Paul Berlin to his team's corner. And look at this again for the third time in the match. This Painful submission hold. Oh, what a what a powerful spine buster that was by Paul Berlin catching Apollo. And an inverted atomic drop in now Trey Steele with the assistant. Oh wow. 
a slap to the face. That was not good now. Amateur style. I mean, that's the technical ability of Apollo. And Trey Steele is learning a lot here from, from the veteran Apollo. And what a back suplex. Now, what a knife edge chop. Elbow to the back. And now, counter by Paul Berlin. And now, what we're going to see here. Irish up to the corner. Now, what's he planning on doing? Gets the tag into Richie Stein. Irish whip. Oh, a Tommy Jarvis, a boot to the face. Wow. And just a couple of leg drops there. Collar and elbow. And what a clothesline. There's the power of Trey Steele. The cover now. One. And a kick out after only one count. And now, what a neck breaker there by Richie Stein. Catching him off guard. And now, oh, what a reverse neck breaker. And now, sends him to the team's corner. Gets the tag into Paul Berlin. Oh no, what in the world? Oh my god! What in the world was that? That looks like the Doomsday device from the Road Warriors and now the cover, the three cannon, that is it! And Team Deutschland gets the win! Now, and I'm wondering, is Team Deutschland gonna get a shot at the tag team titles at Thug Life? That was impressive. I'm not gonna discount anything that Team Deutschland has done in here next to WO, but getting the uh, victory over the tag team champions, that has gotta give them the title shot. Well, we'll be right back after this commercial break. Look what you've been missing. The Trends Journal, the only place you get the facts. Current events form future trends. And the truth. That's why I'm a political atheist. And the trends. Fast food, health food restaurants. All in one place. For your seatbelts fastened for the stock market crash of 87. He predicted the stock market crash of 1987. The major media missed it. But world-class trends forecaster Gerald Salenti predicted the crash months before it happened. In USA Today, Salenti warned the world of a 9-11 scale attack and the panic of 08. You predicted what the dot-com bubble before it happened, the real estate bubble and the crash before it happened. Right. Investing in gold, when gold was at $275 per ounce, Salenti predicted the beginning of the gold bull run. Watch gold. Gold prices could go to the stratosphere. Dr. Salenti, the truth surgeon, has been cutting to the bone with 32 years of cutting edge and accurate trend forecasts, unrivaled in his profession, and trenchant in-depth multidisciplinary analysis. And folks, we are back. This is our main event here. AJ Cool is set to go up one and one on one against Sherman. Sherman Sampson. It's going to be interesting to hear. The leader of the anarchist, AJ Cool, who made a statement earlier how he's going to walk out of this match, still the leader of the, of the anarchist, and lead the anarchist to the promised land. Well, the thing is, like, Sherman is a former XGWO Pro Champion, XGWO Crusoe Champion, and also formerly one half of the Tag Team Champions with anarchist member Slash King of Hurt. And also, Sher Sherman Sanderson, also former ACW World Mayhem Champion, ACW World Foreign Fight Champion, Central American Champion in ACW. Also CCL National Champion as well. So, AJ Cool, how many times has he won? To my recollection, I'd say none. Even though he's had shots at the XGW Ultimate title at times.
But I imagine if Sherman wins this match, and then he's the new leader of the Anarchists. And now, here comes Sherman Samson with a new theme song. Bad meets evil. There he is, Sherman Samson. I see that, that, that the boys at the back got the name right, I know. You know, they're going by a different name for, for a long time in the TWL. And then TWF is going by the great PH. And the TWL here for a long time. And by, by, but now, Sherman Samson. He is very accomplished in the TWL. I think you can hear the crowd. You know, really, they were here for Sherman. But the question is like, what, what will be the dynamic of the anarchists with Sherman Sampson as the leader? <laughs> uh, that's a sight to see. I mean, our main event here. Our next CTV is Thug Life. The XGWL CTV theme paper, or CTV rather. Oops, I almost said pay-per-view. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. AJ Cool by 5'10, 225 pounds. Sherman, Samson, 6 feet tall, 190 pounds. I mean, the very, the very accomplished Sherman Samson. And here we go, match underway now. Nice counter. And a form shot to the back. And now, what a neck breaker. I mean, AJ Cool's got to use that brawling ability. And I know he's going to cheat like there's no tomorrow. One thing about Sherman Sampson, he's very technically sound, a bit of a high flyer. And now, nice go behind, and misses that form shot. Now, snap mirror, the kick to the back. And right now, with the early advantage going to AJ Cool, controlling the pace of the match. Sends him to the ropes and what a takedown. And now countered there by Sherman Sampson. And now Sherman sending him, sending H.A. Cool to the corner and punches the head. And, and counter, what a drop kick. And now Bulldog takedown. And now what's H.A. Cool planning on doing here? Sending Sherman to the corner. Punch to the head. And a counter with a go behind. Into a side rushing leg sweep. Put, able to put moves together. And counter by Sherman Sampson. Face, face plant. Bulldog takedown. Oh, Sherman countered the drop kick attempt. And what a snapmare there by Sherman Sampson. And now, Crucifix! What a takedown! And now, just repeated shots to the head. And now, setting up AJ Cool in the Tree of Woe. And now, Headlock. And now, AJ Cool setting him up into a suplex. Sends him to the ropes. Counter by, Sher by Sherman. Into a go behind form shot to the back. And now AJ Cool sent to the corner. Counter. I mean, af after tonight's match, after this match, we gain word that the great D is going to issue an open challenge. And let's see what that's all about after, after, after this match. And take down there by Sherman Sampson, just working on the leg. A couple of counters. Form shots. And now, what's AJ Cool Plan doing here? And springboard Bulldog. I know the fans are not liking AJ Cool to cover now. 
One. Kick that after one. Sends him in the corner. Oh, what a drop kick. And now a counter by AJ Cool. And the sweeping the legs from underneath him. And knee drop there by AJ Cool. And now at a stalemate here. Counter. Punch to the head. Another one. And Sherman Sampson going to work with those punches. And oh, nice and done with a Hurricanrana. And now, full, full Nelson, but AJ Cool with a counter. I mean, the anarchists have been causing so much problems here. And now, that suplex floated over into a pinfall. Only have one count there. I mean, AJ Cool just disrupting things and got Rick Acid, the new XCWL Pro Champion, beating beating Jimmy Nightmare and McMary at Global Warning in a steel cage match. And what a hurt run off the top rope there by Sherman. And then, and then John Pryor, I mean, he was the XCWL Pure Champion, but he quit XCWL after the last episode of Charged. So, I mean, the Anarchists are down to four. As Dolder Extremal slashed Rick Gasson and AJ Cool. And what a diving bulldog that was. And AJ Cool looking to end this one with a destroyer. And a counter by Sherman. And a punch, and now with a go behind. Punch to the head. Kick to the midsection. But what impressed me about AJ Cool in the last episode of, of Charge that he beat Jonathan Magnum one on one. And Jonathan Magnum is no joke. He's a former multiple time XGW Ultimate Champion. Now, submission hold locked in. And Sherman breaking that submission hold. Get to the midsection. Don't tell me. Need the midsection. Oh, wow! Getting Shermanated. I don't know if he calls that anymore. I'm going to have to have a talk. I'm going to have to ask Sherman Sasson a few questions of what he calls that now. And, and now again, this time on the outside. Damn. And now Sherman's in control of this match. Dragging AJ Cool away from the ropes. And now, oh, what a power, what a counter now. AJ Cool with a cover, using the rope for leverage, and Sherman able to kick out. A counter by AJ Cool, and now Sherman getting back up. And now, AJ Cool setting up Sherman for the right of that suplex, floats it over to a pin, the cover now. Only a one count. Kick to the midsection. Send, sending AJ Cool to the rope, to the corner, I mean. Nice leg lariat. And now AJ Cool getting back up. Oh, Sherman misses that one. Going high risk, but did not pay off. And now AJ Cool with a couple of strikes. And now going with a submission hold, the sleeper hold. And Sherman able to reach the ropes. Sending Sherman to the corner. What a knee to, to the face and now Bulldog. Oh! What a takedown. And now AJ Cool has Sherman right where he wants him. Now going for the cover. One. Two and almost three. Oh, what an Enziguri kick. And now, AJ Cool getting out of dodge. 
try to gather his thoughts again. What the? Now he has a steel chair in hand. Are you kidding me? I mean, the frustration is really setting in there for AJ Cool. But he's got to keep his composure because this is a regular match. This is not a no disqualification match. Countouts and disqualifications are in effect. And now both these men back in the ring. Oh, and what a drop kick there by Sherman Sampson. And a, a drop kick right below the belt. <laughs> and now, sending up AJ Cool on that top rope. Form shot to the back. And now go for a superplex. Oh my god. Very painful now. Connects with that with that senton dive and now Sherman what a DDT hooking both arms and driving AJ cool down to the canvas now going to the top rope oh wow what a what a shooting star splash or shooting star pressing now crucifix the cover one two and three and that's it the match is over and the anarchists have themselves a new leader. And in all honesty, I don't think Extreme Tony knows what 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 the unintended consequences of this could be, because I mean Sherman is now the new leader of the anarchist and I don't know what he has planned. I have no idea what Sherman's agenda is here for 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 making for requesting this kind of match. Requested to be the and now the new leader of the anarchist and I ha I don't know I'm just speculating at this point. Well, anyway, we gotta take a commercial break on the other side. Of this is the great deed with his open challenge. It says here you did it for GoDaddy.com. It takes more than dancing around in a skimpy little T-shirt to tell the GoDaddy story. You gotta sell dot coms for a buck ninety nine. Live twenty four seven. Expert service. Free extras. That's right. Free. You think there's a great deal for me at GoDaddy.com? Buy a dot com name. And see for yourself. Just go to GoDaddy.com. And folks, welcome back to XGWL Charge, episode eighty six. Hector Diaz here. And right now the great Diaz in the ring. Um I believe it's the greatness challenge, or well, that means is basically he is offering an open challenge to anyone in the XGWL roster for his XGWL title, and he's holding the which is the best title in XGWL, which is the ultimate title. Let's see, let's go out to the ring and see what I have to say. Yep. Who's gonna be? What the? What the hell? That's Exoticai! What the hell is he doing? Coming right through the ring! Great D, turn around! And. Oh! What's he doing? Picking him up! And just him right through the, the ring! Oh my god! What the hell? Wow! Oh my god! And now Exoticai grabbing the microphone. Let's see what he has to say. I mean. Oh my god! Alright, uh, well, there you have it. There's your challenger for the XGW Ultimate title. And that's. We're out of time. Hector is here. Bidding you all adios.